Hello everybody and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I promise you this will be the very very last episode before we head to the final dungeon. I have three things on my agenda. The first is to get the very 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 last heart piece that we need. Um, it's actually on Rockspire Island and if you kill both of these bomb ships, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you have to kill both of them, but I'll kill both of them anyways, because one of them will drop the heart piece in their little treasure ring thing. So, go ahead and do that, and that, and uh, I guess it's that one over there. There should be a heart piece in one of the treasure rings, and then that will give us every single piece of heart, uh, or every single heart container, rather, in the entire game. So. We got 100% of all of the heart pieces, which I'm very proud of. I don't think I've ever done that in a Zelda game ever, because I just, I never bother. But, yeah, this playthrough has definitely been uh, an inspiration for me to go ahead and do that. So, um, I'm actually pretty excited about that. It actually wasn't too, too hard for me to figure out which ones I was missing either, which was really nice. Because I had to figure out which ones I was missing through process of elimination. So, is this it? Yes, it is! That's the fourth piece, completing another heart container. Your life energy has increased by one heart. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. How beautiful is that? It looks spectacularly wonderful. Oh, I love it. Alright, so now that we have every single heart container in the game, I'm going to quickly go back to Outset for two things, actually. I want to get some grandma soup before going to the final dungeon, just in case. I really honestly don't think I'll need it, but um, grandma soup is pretty awesome, so we might as well pick up some in case we want to use the double strength perk or something like that. Never hurts. Just in case. And we are also going to uh, get Beetle's membership. The um, I think it's 60 points. I went ahead and I bought like a crap load of stuff. Um, and I think I have 59 points now. So if we buy one more item from him, he should give us that gold membership. And uh, hopefully it's better than, than the silver membership he gave us. Because what he gave us for a uh, silver membership was just like an absolute joke. It was ridiculous. So let's do that first while he's here, I guess. Right in front of our faces here. Okay. Blah blah blah. I think I only need one more thing. Let's buy a pair. No, nope, 59 points. Alright. My, my correction. Two more things. There we go. You've saved about 60 points. You've earned a gold membership. To you, our latest gold member, Beetle's Shop Ship, offers a fabulous gift. It will be arriving soon at a red, po a red post box near you. I hope you'll wait it anxiously. And on top of that, the most special gifts, you shall be treated as a VIP in our store. I don't think he says anything different. Like, his, his dialogue is the same, and he doesn't really do anything, so... VIP my butt, we're like the only person who actually buys anything from him, so I don't know what he's talking about. Alright, we'll probably have to do a few cycles of night and day in order to get the... Um, item to show up in our mailbox, but that's also why I came to Outset. I figured I hit the trifecta. We could get the mailbox, uh, get our 60 points, and also pick up some soup for my grandma, so tried to plan ahead a little bit here. Sup, grandma? I'll get some soup before I go save the world. Something like a good hearty soup from home, made from scratch. Okay, I don't need to see this dialogue. hate that you can't really, like, speed through it. It's kind of annoying. Alright. Anyways, thanks, Grandma. I'll see you after I'm done saving the world and all that jazz. Hopefully. Okay, now. We just have to speed through it. I think it'll only take a day for it to show up. Uh, if we play the Sun Song, maybe twice. Or not- I want to say Sun Song. Song of Passing. We're not playing Ocarina of Time. Because things generally take about a day. Oh, or not. Wait. Oh, only half a day. Okay. Awesome. Um, this must be it. I don't know who else we'd get a letter from. There we go. 
To all gold membership holders, thank you for you thank you so much for your continued patronage of Beetle Shop Ships. It has come to my attention that you have earned 60 shopping points. This entitles you to gold membership in my stores. All gold membership holders receive a special gift of one fill-up coupon that fills your stock of items. When you find yourself running low on items, bring this coupon to your nearest Beetle Shop Ship for an instant fill-up. Does not apply to all products. Alright, so this is kind of an interesting uh, coupon with a rather interesting illustration on the front of it. Um, you bring it to him and you'll fill up all your items. And it, it only works once and it doesn't work on all items. Um, you know, he, like he wouldn't give you, if you went to the one where he sells bottles and heart pieces, he obviously wouldn't give you um, an unlimited amount of heart pieces or bottles. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. But I think it works for things like arrows and bombs and all that stuff, so... Um, I guess we can probably use it just to show it off, because I don't really plan on using it, but now whatever. Here you go, Beetle. Would you like to use your fill-up coupon? Instant item fill-up! Be happy! Wow, that's that was kind of creepy. Yeah, you can see that I had 36 arrows, and I've got and I got 99. I got 99 bombs, and I think that's really all it works for is arrows and bombs. I can't really think of anything else that he would sell, because um, he didn't put anything in our, in our uh, bait bag or anything. So, yeah, whatever. Okay guys, so that's it. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I can really think of that I missed. We got every single heart piece in the game, uh, every single bottle as we can see, uh, every single item in the entire game, and I think I've covered almost every single side quest. Anything I haven't covered is like an easter egg or something very, very small that really didn't uh, give us like a really big prize, so um, I'm pretty happy with what progress I've made, and now... It is finally time to go to the Tower of the Gods and go revisit Princess Zelda, so we're gonna go do that. And then we can actually finish up this game. It's It's been a while uh, since I started playing this. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's go. With our Triforce in hand. Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Here you go, gods. Here's my shining triangle of power and truth and knowledge and wisdom. Oh, what is this? There, on your hand, the Triforce piece now dwells within you. It is a Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the winds and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of the Winds. Link! Hero of the Winds! Uh, I feel like that needs to be voiced by somebody really epic like Morgan Freeman or something. Go forth! To Hyrule! To Zelda's side! Oh, I love the I love the little speech he gives just before you go to Hyrule. It's so suiting and uh, awesome. And here we are, back again. All right, let's go see Zelda. She's probably starving and also dehydrated by this point, seeing as that we left her with no food, no water, no nothing. Oh. Wait, what? I love how the entire castle is untouched. Totally unscathed, totally beautiful, but somebody had to come in and ruin uh, the glorious statue that looked like me. Oh no, I hope Zelda's okay. There she is! Zelda! Tetra, whatever you want to call her.
or not. Oh crap. You have deceived yourself. What have you done with my princess? Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here, you shall fall into eternal slumber! Oh, Jesus. What a coward. Can't fight us ourselves, you know? He's gotta come in and get the Dark Knights to do it for, uh, for him. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the ones with the capes on their back, so I think it's a little bit difficult to actually get, like, an attack off on them, um, at first, because there's, like, a cape covering their back. Um, but you can burn it, I think, if you get close enough to the flame, or you use an arrow or something, or I think even if you just hit it with your sword, it'll do it as well, so I wouldn't be too worried. Yeah, because they have a shield there, or a, a cape, kind of acts as a shield. But it doesn't look like it's really a huge problem to actually get it off of him, so it's not too big of a worry. Um, it might have been a smarter idea for me to only have focused on one at a time, because they get faster uh, when they, you know, lose their armor. But um, I don't think this is too hard to do. I mean, if Ganon really thinks that two Dark Nuts can stop me. Yeah, okay. Pathetic. I am the hero of the wind. Do you know nothing? Loser. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, is are the flames gonna go, or am I just gonna have to find another way out of here, but that helps. Not that we really need to be picking up any of this stuff, but let's just do it for old time's sake. Okay. And we may now traverse into the final area. Oh, I'm so excited! Really, I am. I'm... I've been waiting for this. I've been, I've been procrastinating recording this, but... Ah, oh, so epic. Run, Link! Run to save your princess! Alright, so if you came uh, through here when we were at the castle earlier, uh, there was like a big barrier that comes up. It'll come up magically, I think, if I maybe I run into it. Yeah, right here. And you can't, you can't get past it, but if you go ahead and whack it with your Master Sword, How friggin' awesome is that? Oh my god, and how beautiful is this scenery? Believe it or not, we are going to Ganon's castle, and you would think that going to Ganon's castle would be dark and kind of nasty looking, but uh, look at this scenery. I want to live here. This is a nice place to live. Well, it's not really, not really want to live here, because he kind of lives underwater, but damn, this place is gorgeous. This game is beautiful and colorful right to the very end. It, just, it never ceases to amaze me in that regard. It's pretty awesome. Um, now, I don't specifically remember if you have to defeat every single enemy in order to actually get into the area that we're going towards, but I what the hell, I'll do it anyways. Just to kind of laugh in Ganon's face. Be like, ha, your Dark Knights and your Guardians you have at the front of your castle. Don't do anything to me! Um, it doesn't really take that long anyways, so we will just go ahead and do that. There should be some more stuff coming up, too. But it's not a very long walk, though. You can see the entrance is a bit right there, actually, so let's go ahead and defeat this. Not... I love, how, I love how they give us one with a cape, but then the one that's, like, guarding the entrance to the Evil King's uh, castle does not have a cape. It's just like, well... Uh. Ganon, you're doing it wrong, clearly. You've got the wrong henchman for the wrong job. Refill our hearts. And... Bring out the hookshot. And why are there keys randomly? Just to kind of troll me, I suppose. Just, just because, most likely. All right, and we've made it.
This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ganon's castle. You can see the music has changed instantly. It's dark, it's depressing, it's scary. And despite that, I am freaking stoked. Because um, we are here, guys. We are at the final area of the game. Oh, Ganon. You don't know what you've gotten yourself into. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Alright, where are we at for time here? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay, well, I'm not going to cut anything out of this episode. So I think in the next video, uh, we're going to actually go into Ganon's Tower now that we've actually gotten in here. And uh, we will take on the final uh, dungeon before we actually finish up this game for good. So thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope that you'll be joining me in the next episode.